Hey guys, and welcome to the replay. Let's see. Oh boy. Sorry. Uh, hey, lower that a little. Alrighty. How are you guys? Did you have a wonderful holiday? I did. It was very relaxing. I got to spend some time with my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew. It was pretty awesome. And of course I got to have time with hubby and kiddo. Just trying to get my website in. There it goes. Hi Angela. Hi Kathy. Hi Mona. Hi Denise. Hi Judy. How are you guys? Thanks for joining. Hi Sue. As you're coming in, bottom left hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love it if you click share. Hi Judy. Hi Kathy. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited about the project I'm going to do tonight. This is going to be super cute. I'm making this. I mean, we are all about barbecues now. Hi, Sue. <clears throat> it's the barbecue time and parties. And I wanted to make a super quick, cute sign with the lemonade transfer because, you know, there's not always alcoholic beverages. Sometimes you make something for kiddos and all to have. Hi, Simone. How are you? Thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to make sure I had a little something to label, and I thought this was the cutest thing. It's a little easel, and it's a giant lemon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got the easel back. And I thought fresh squeezed with the lemon would be so cute. Hi, Angela. How are you? Thanks for joining. Hi, Maria. Hi, Tanya. Thanks for coming in, friends. So I am going to go ahead and get this open and started. And while I've got this going, I'm going to throw a little something up on the screen. For those of you who have never watched me or have never heard about Chalk Couture, I want you to know what it's all about. <clears throat> Hello. Mm. The bubbas. Okay, I think that was enough time for you guys to read. Let's come on back now. So these are our silk screen reusable adhesive back transfers. That as they as you read, they can be reused over and over and over again. So um <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to come through, I'm going to cut off the pieces that I want to use, and then I'm going to label them on the back, so that way I know the correct way to re reapply it um, to the carrier sheet, so that way it's ready to be used for next time. So, let's do that, huh? So we got fresh squeezed, and I think I'm going to do lemonade as well. And as you can see, there's a bunch of white lines. All I'm doing is cutting along those. Those are our cut lines. So I'm not going to cut everything out because, well, frankly, I will likely lose it promptly. Because that's the way I roll. I lose things ASAP. So we, we don't want that to happen. Okay? So <laughs> we're just not going to let that happen. So the best way for that to not happen is to just keep it all together. Now, I'm also thinking the little lemon slices would be super cute, but we're going to see if we have enough room for that because I want to try and squeeze in, well, haha, no pun intended. Yeah, no I want to do <laughs> fresh squeezed lemonade is how I'd like to be able to get it to, to get in there. So I'll do fresh squeezed lemonade. I was thinking of using the, between the white and the bubblegum chalk paste because I thought the pink would look cute on the lemon, especially if it's like pink lemonade. So hi, Christina, hi, Sharon, hi, Jerry, hi, Wendy, hey, Sage, hi, Joe, how are you guys? Thanks for joining. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm also gonna lower this a little bit because we don't need it to be so high up. And then I can actually see what's going on on my screen because I'm super short. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, what I will likely do is probably the fresh lemonade, fresh lemonade, and then I'll come in over and do squeezed. And I think I'm gonna do 
fresh and lemonade in the bubble gum and squeezed in white is what I think I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's funny, huh, Judy? <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining, guys. Yeah, I know. And I also came on super early tonight um, because I have my opportunity call. Um, usually I do it on the last Sunday of the month, but because it was the holiday and I was spending time with family, um, I am rescheduling it for tonight. So I need to hurry up and get my live in. So that way I can have be totally dedicated to my opportunity call. Now, just labeling the back so that way I know which way is the proper way to get this back onto my carrier sheet because I want to save these, obviously, to reuse over and over. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Elizabeth. I can't remember if I said hello to you guys. Okay, so first things first. We're all done cutting, so I can put that off to the side. Now we need to fuzz this up a little bit, okay? Now, I am going to take this off the carrier sheet. Now, what I have found works the best so that it does not fold onto itself or stretch itself because this is a silk screen material is to pull the carrier sheet off of the transfer as you saw me just do. Um, that really works the best. You have less of a chance of the transfer folding upon itself or stretching and getting distorted because we obviously don't want that to happen. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kara. Hello, Nettie. How are you? Whoops, we don't want it to fold on itself like I just did. If that happens, don't panic. Drop it into some nice warm water and it will come right off. Um, that it thankfully didn't stick in a spot that was on the silk screen, so I was able to get it off. Normally, I would really just run like when I was doing the Star Spangled Banner because I had the fan one in the air, um, yet folded on itself twice, both pieces. So I was constantly going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Okay, so let's get fresh. So we'll do fresh on here. I just wanna make sure there's no bubbles in my silk screen area. Hi Leah, hi Christina, hi Barb. Okay. And I'm gonna get lemonade. I think this will be super cute as a sign for, like I said, a picnic, to put on a, uh, what do you call that, a decator, I think it's called, even a pitcher. How fun, but I just like the sign because I thought, oh, I can display it. Um, so that way people know it's just fresh squeezed lemonade. It likely won't be fresh squeezed because, well, let's be real, I don't do that. <laughs> I can't do that stuff. Hi, Christina. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Alicia. Thanks for joining. Alrighty. So we got that on. So I think I said I was going to do fresh and lemonade and bubble gum. Right? Let's see. Ooh, this is a beautiful consistency. Now, with our chalk paste, you always want to stir up your chalk paste. Before you start using it, make sure it's a nice yogurt-like consistency. If it seems a little thick, you can add a little bit of water, like one or two little spray bottle sprays. You can always add, you can't take out. So don't overdo it with that, right? So now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use a small squeegee that I cut in half, okay? So this is a small squeegee. This is the piece cut in half. I'm gonna use that to do the fresh and the lemonade. So all I'm gonna do is come in, get some chalk paste, pull it over my silk screen area, just like so. Come in, I have so much excess, I could just pull it down. You, a little chalk paste goes a long way, guys, seriously. Um, you see all this excess that I've got? Normally we would wipe, wipe it right back into the container, but since I'm doing down here as well, we'll just use it for down here. A Little bit more. excess off Make sure there's no lines wait my excess chalk paste back into my um, container and we're gonna peel the transfer off okay now I'm gonna kind of just set this to the side for a sec because I'm oops hold on see a spot I missed 
there it goes, sorry. Saw a little spot. So now I'm gonna lift this one up and peel it off. Just be careful not to put your hand inside the fresh area. And I'm gonna get it right into some water, okay? A quick water bath. And then I will clean it with a Lysol wipe. I'm just gonna get it off, all the excess off real quick while it's in the water. While I gotta wait for that to dry, I can use my, my dryer, but I figure while I'm here, I might as well just do this real quickly. I already had a wipe out to clean my table anyway. So that lemonade is all cleaned and now drying. Now, let's dry fresh and lemonade. Hi, Patty. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Amity. Hi, Maria. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd share. We are all dry. Now let's just make sure we get this back to room temp. So I'm just gonna close up my bubblegum chalk paste. Okay. All right. Now let's get the white. And we are going to Yep, it's back to room temp. We're gonna do fresh squeezed. Hoping it's about the same distance. Ooh, hold on. Get over there. I'm trying to make it be the same distance from the top to the bottom. That's my goal here. Hi, Susan. How are you? Thank you for joining. Okay. Mix up our chalk paste real good. Mm, that's beautiful. Okay. And the other half, that transfer that I cut, let's come in, put the color on and pull it down. Make sure you cover the whole silk screen area. Don't leave any pieces of the opening unchalked. Okay, and then come in and get all your excess off, all your lines. Make sure there's no lines lingering around. Okay, you have that all done. We're gonna come in and we're gonna take our time and peel it up because we don't want it to pull up the, the pink that we did already, okay? So just take your time, no rush. You know, if you're moving quickly um, with your chalk paste, it's not gonna dry and like an extra five seconds isn't gonna hurt it to take your time, okay? That turned out absolutely adorable, by the way. So cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. Now, I think we are gonna have a little bit of room that I can come in and do the little pieces of lemon, maybe along squeezed on the opposite sides. That might be super cute. Hold on, just clean in the chalk paste off. Get my transfers drying. That way I can be done. So how cute did that turn out? Hi, Casey. How are you? Thank you, Judy. Hello, Susan. Hi, Diane. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Okay. So now, I wonder, hmm, wonder what colors would look good with that. 
Oh, you know what I can do? The leaves. How cute would the leaves look on each side? That's what we're gonna do. Hey girl, how are you? Oh, this'll be too cute. Thank you, Casey. Hi, Kim. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. As you guys are coming in, ladies, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love it if you click share. Okay, so we're going to use emerald because I have not used emerald nearly enough. And it's flipping gorgeous, the color. And I think it would look so good with the leaves. I think what I'll do is I'll do two leaves over here and maybe two leaves over here. I think that would look cute. Maybe coming off squeezed. Wouldn't that be adorable? Okay, nice and dry. Can I get your thought on something real quick? What do you think if I do on the sides here of the squeezed, the little leaves, the little pair of leaves, like as if it was holding a lemon up? Right. What do you think? Holding a lemon up. Like off squeezed, like the leaves that hold a lemon, you know, that come off a lemon? Think of a lemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. When you think about them off squeezed, sure. you think it would look cute? I'm not going to say that. But okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, coming off the S and the D. That would yeah. be adorable, right? It would be. It would be. Yay! He agrees. Hubby agrees. Okay, let's keep fuzzing up my leaves here because they're pretty sticky. Fuzz it up a little bit. Pull up. Okay, so. Let's get this actually sitting there for a sec while we mix up our emerald. See some separation here, but that's okay. Just needs to be mixed up. It's all some of the pigment. No biggie. It's just because of the way that I had it in my container, I think it fell on its side. See, it's back to being perfect again. Even a beautiful consistency. Easy peasy. I love that people, I love people that keep t saying to me, oh my God, I can never do that. How could you never do that? This, you need a skill level of zero. Anybody can do this. Where did you get the lemon? Uh, Hubby actually found it for me. And I will message you where he found it. Oops. Okay, so this is a piece of a small squeegee cut into thirds. So because these leaves are super tiny, I thought it would probably be best to use this one. Get all the excess off, don't have any lines. We're gonna take it off gently. And we're gonna move around now and do it on Hi, Taryn. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Denise. You're welcome, Casey. No problem. As soon as I'm done, I'll message you. Now I'm going to add it over here by the S. Okay. Okay, get all that excess off. You don't want to see any lines. Okay, and wipe your excess from your squeegee back into the jar. We're gonna take our time and we're gonna peel it off. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute! Fresh squeezed lemonade. All done. Sure will, Chantel, no problem. So tell me this wouldn't be adorable to display at barbecues, parties, birthday parties, summer parties, winter parties, any kind of party. 
um, buy some fresh squeezed lemonade. Isn't it adorable? Thank you, Chantel. Super stinking cute. Let's make sure it's all dry. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, we're nice and dry. How do you love, how do you like this? Don't you just love it? It's so cute. And I love that it stands up. It's like a little picture frame. So adorable. Awesome. Okay, so guys, OMG, Judy. I hope that's a good OMG. So, as you have come in and as you watched, you may have said, oh my goodness, I love this. If you would like to, I would love it if you would join my VIP group. If you're interested in making any purchases, if you want to see some extra projects, if you um, want to be privy to sales, um, I would love it if you join my VIP group. I am, uh, I'm very sorry, um, other designers that are on, it is not a designer group. It is for my customers only. So if you are interested in joining, please comment me down below in the comments. If you watched and you said, you know what, girl, I would love to do this. I could see myself getting together with my girlfriends, meeting some new friends, doing sip and chalks, doing Facebook Live, showing how to use the product. Comment join down below. I would love to have you join my opportunity group. I actually have an opportunity live happening in my group tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, um, what's involved with being a designer, what you can do to join my team, how to join my team, and all of that. Um, if you are interested in that, please comment join down below, and I will make sure you get added into my opportunity group where you can see all of this information. So, that will be it, guys. I appreciate, oops, that was the wrong one I threw up. Uh, I appreciate you joining. I hope you love the project. I loved it. I love how easy it was. It took me maybe 10, 15 minutes to do this. And now I have a super cute summer decor piece. Um, you don't even have to have this out for um, a party or whatnot. You could just have this out as just a decor item. Isn't it adorable? I love it. So, uh, thank you, Patricia. Oh, good, Judy. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you, Taryn. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Casey. Um, Patricia, I will message you where I got the lemon from. Uh, I don't like advertising things that are not Chalk Couture items, you know, because I am Chalk Couture and, you know, I make my money from Chalk Couture. So um, I don't like to advertise in public. So I will happily message you where I got this from. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below and you know I will happily answer them. Um, if you, uh, like I said, if you'd like to join my VIP group or my opportunity group, comment. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.